not only a veteran of the comedy scene, but a veteran in the underground tradition of getting the truth out through laughter. He's won an Emmy for his writing and has numerous cable comedy specials under his belt and just returned from the Edinburgh Fringe Comedy Festival. His take on coming to the Zeitgeist Media Festival is, prepare to have your mind blown. And if you believe the mainstream media, prepare to have your mind reinflated. Let's give a big round of applause for Rick Overton. Thank you. Keep it going for Char. And for Peter Joseph. Wasn't that amazing? Yeah, you know, we're, uh, we're pretty lucky, aren't we? You know, there's all kinds of people that don't know shit about this. We got to get that out to them. Spread the luck to them. This is just good luck. That's all it is. People that don't know, they're just not lucky yet. That's the only difference, you know. I'm more than a patriot. I'm a matriot. I love my species. I love Mother Earth. I'm born here. Once you can get on a jet and look at the Earth's curvature, you got to get over all that territory shit. That's primitive monkey poo whipping shit, you know. It went to a satellite and go click, 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 click around the Earth. Don't let a ball of tin be smarter than you. Uh, I'm all for, you know, I love humans. You pay all my bills. I was just working down south in the deep south. I was working down in southern Georgia, and a guy said, go home, Yankee. And I'm like, you mean like Civil War Yankee, that kind of Yankee? <laughs> hey, man, I was born in 1954. We were watching TV and stuff and eating snacks. We, uh, you know, maybe you ought to think about not reenacting the war you lost so much every weekend. You ever thought about that? <laughs> okay, see you Saturday. All right, bye. And... So he goes, yeah, but you don't sound like us. And I was like, guess what, man? You don't sound like you either. You didn't invent your little territorial urine ring of dialect. You picked it up from somewhere else. That's how you get a language. You do another language wrong. <laughs> this is the worst shit Latin anyone's ever fucking heard. But we got boomstick gunpowder, bitches. That's right. You're switching over. Okay, guess we're talking the boomstick people's language now. <laughs> we got the boats with the sails and the crosses. Better switch over. If you took the whole world, push it out flat, and it's like, and here's uh, Europe, here's uh, England, and then there's the Atlantic, and there's eastern U.S., western to Alaska, and you took a computer mouse and you push it along. You want to see where our dialect came from? Your dialect isn't your identity. It's right over here is where it started, only a few hundred years ago. What's this persecuting us, are you? Very well, we're going to sail away across the bounding main, and we never want to utter the word England ever again. So we'll settle in this new territory of this new land, and because we hate England so much, we're going to call this new area New England. For some inexplicable fucking reason, we're going to call it New England, and... Why did we come here? We came here with the promise of finding R's in our dialect. Where are the R's promised us here in America? Well, maybe we should go to Boston, park your car in Harvard Yard. No R's here, wicked retard. Get the fuck out of here. Drive down to New York. Here's your fucking R over here. And you drive down south to Florida. What's all this fucking noise? Can't a person retire in peace? It's 100 degrees. I'm wearing wool and I'm eating dairy. <coughs> Where are the R's? There's no R's. And then you drive west, west, west till you pass the Texas state border sign. Tejas. Where everybody's teeth just kind of spread out like this. Giant old chiclet sized cow eating teeth. <laughs> you can pry these R's out of my cold, dead hand. Oh, shit. And you get so scared, you drive north, 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 and you drive north, and oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, perhaps you have driven a bit too far north. Yes, uh, I am a constable, but as you can see, I am not armed with a gun, so I'm just going to have to ask you very politely to get out. Get out, and here's a maple treat basket for you. And then you stop off in Minnesota, 
where everyone talks like this the whole time. Why is that? That's because half the year your skull is storage for pollen and the other half the year it's frozen solid in a block of ice. Why the fuck do we live here? I don't know. Is it the R's? And then you drive and er, you stop at Los Angeles where everyone strives to sound like this. Why is that? Well, that's because we weren't raised by our parents. Hell no. They were too busy running off to go find themselves. So instead, we were ditched in front of the teleteat. And click, 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 change the channel, go around the world a hundred times until it just neutralizes out to this. And eventually the entire planet's going to have one frickin' dialect. And it'll be, hi, where are you from? Paris, France, how about you? Beijing, China. I thought I detected a dialect. <laughs> Honey, I'm home, what's for dinner? Whatever you want, punch it in the computer. Where's Junior? Upstairs, Dad, doing my homework. Where's the dog? Bow wow, woof woof. Yes, I'm weird, but I'm saving up to be eccentric. Because money is not the root of all evil. Assholes with money are the root of all evil. Don't, don't confuse the two. You know, if I had money, I would do something good with it to work for your generation. I would, I would invent a machine that sucks in pollution and blows out oxygen like, oh, like a tree. Fuck. <laughs> Ah, don't you hate it when someone beats you to an idea? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the new tree we should be growing here is a little green leafy one. Yeah, it's a kind of a kind of a little a durable little bastard, isn't it? it? Grows just about. You can grow it in cement. You can grow it about just anywhere, and uh, grows in lots of basements here. Just pops right up. <laughs> <laughs> Did a cat pee in your house? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Where's the cat? Oh, it's, it's invisible. It's the Cheshire cat. <laughs> we got to just finally nationally legalize marijuana because... Uh, besides the fact that it cures cancer and it does all this really threatening, you know, pharmaceutical nightmare shit, but it, it also it makes you nice. And that's the other huge secret thing about pot that they never talk about why it's illegal. Because you can smoke two hits. That's why Bill Clinton never wanted to go to war. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm not, no, no, I'm not hitting that button. <laughs> I'm too busy hitting this button right over here. <laughs> Defcon, here's my Defcon. I had to change the hail to the chief to a porn song. <laughs> makes you horny, makes you loving. You know, you, it, it's a shared sacrament. It's not a drug, by the way. Just the guys who need to bust you for it. Because busting potheads is easy. It's like hunting cows. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Looking easy, you know, a guy's not going to run anywhere. Cokehead is all, I'm fucking ready for your fucker. Yeah, no, 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 I'm going to bust the pothead today, I think, you know. And see, there's a reason for the psychology between the two, because marijuana, marijuana is a sacrament that was always designed to be shared. It was the original thing in the peace pipe. Just, you know, movies changed it because they were showing it to little kids. But you could take two sworn enemies, put them in a teepee together. I fucking hate you. I hate you too. Gentlemen, gentlemen, try this. And you come back 45 minutes later and they're working out two-part harmonies on a Beatles song together, you know. <laughs> if I give my heart, if I give my heart. Okay, here we go. Back to one. But cocaine, there's never enough of your Mount Kilimanjaro of blow to share with your shady douchebag frenemies. Because you don't hang out with the same kind of person when you're buying blow. You don't make the same kind of friend. And here's the science reason why that is. It's the same thing with coffee. It raises adrenaline in a mammal system. The only time a mammal's supposed to be having adrenaline is when you're in the California mountains hiking and you hear, rawr, rawr, 
Okay, now I got adrenaline. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get back to this. Oh, branches. I've tasted my own blood. I don't care. I'm getting back. You're not supposed to feel while you're sitting on a sofa across from your best friend, Mitch. Mitch is my fucking enemy. I can't show him that, so instead I'll check the drapes again. I, uh, I'm an old hippie. You've been told that we're, we're old, burnt-out motherfuckers that never did anything good. That's because the people we did the good shit to didn't like that we did it to them. The History Channel's all fucking Hitlery channel now, Nazi shit, you know? First, how Hitler was cool and had jets first. Later, where he hid in the Antarctic. After that, how he's smarter than you. It's all hit. Don't, if you're letting your kids look at a 2012 special about the end of the world, you're a negligent fucking parent. I'm sorry. You're letting a kid who's maybe nine years old watch about how you got a handful of months left before it's over. Fuck is wrong with you. You let a little kid watch a, hey, Timmy, do good in school. One and a half years left, Timmy. <laughs> Don't do any drugs, Timmy. One and a half years. You know, there is no Satan. There's just bad parenting. Ooh, hit a button with that one. Well, I picked the right town. I remember I was, I was taking a flight to New York, and I'm sitting there, no turbulence, five hours of just drumming. A kid had my tray down his drumming. I'm the only one with turbulence for five hours. This sugared up kid is like, ah, la, la, ah, la, 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 ha, 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 ha. And I'm like this, and finally I've had it. I get up, I turn around, and I look. I look at the kid just for a second. It's not the kid's fault yet. I'm looking at mom now, and mom's got the book open, my child, your headache, you know. <laughs> what? Children have energy. Is that okay with you? God. You ever drive in traffic, and you signal to switch lanes? They see you signal, so they speed up, and they block out your chance to switch lanes. Where do you get people like that? I'll tell you where. Allah, 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 Allah. Meet tomorrow's assholes today. It's all right, yeah. Yeah, it's all right, rock and roll. You know. How are we doing on time, guys? Usually we separate these things. Uh, ready to rock and roll back there, kids? See, if, mind if I pick up your dress? She's awesome, by the way. I don't know if, if you know much about uh, Heather Donovan, but she, too, too. She, she, she sings more than that, generally. And she's, she's brilliant. Um, check, check, everybody. That's all she has to say for me is, yeah, baby, check, check. And I get the book out, and I just write the check. Yeah, whatever you want. Two, two, two. Two. Two two check. You got you got it, Angel. Whatever you ask. That voice has me in a trance. Damn, I may be fifty-seven, but I'm still fucking alive, you know. Problem is, at my age now, a woman asked me to talk dirty. I, a uh, problem. I can't. Talk dirty during. I can't run an erection and the poetry center of my brain at the same time. It starts shutting off like warehouse lights in a row. That's like where I live. My phone number. My younger years. What my mom's name was. Until it's just a little chicken cortex in the back. And I'm just. Sad, sad sight. That's why women have. You think it's romantic. Women are closing their eyes when they're having sex with a man. It's like, don't look. 
Don't look. Go to a happy place. Don't look at his face. You will be scarred forever.